I got a question for you. Do you feel like you could shatter someone's rib cage with your knee strikes? If the answer's not an immediate yes, I got you. We're gonna do a drill right now so you can get hundreds of reps in. We're gonna talk about the mechanics, the footwork, the rhythm, so that you can throw some brutal fight finishing knees. Let's do it, stand up, do it with me. What we're gonna do is start with a four count rhythm. Quick recap, what I'm doing is I'm shifting my weight from the front leg to the back leg. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this is important because I'm gonna throw the knee on the fourth beat, so watch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My setup step is happening at the third beat. So watch, I go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What am I doing with my setup step? Yes, I'm stepping forward towards my opponent, but as I do, my arms come up overhead. I point my elbows at my opponent, and now as they come down when I throw the knee, I'm simulating grabbing hold of their wrist and the top of their head, I call this the mohawk position. Imagine you're covering their mohawk with your forearm and you're grabbing the crown of their head with your hand. Now the fourth beat comes, so we bang, throw the knee, and then we step back, back, forward for the setup step, knee, back, back, forward, knee. Now what you notice is that my feet are making a triangle formation. The first two steps are at the bottom of the triangle. The third step comes to the top of the triangle. Arms come up overhead, I throw the knee on the fourth beat. I pull my leg and hips back to start my one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a great way to get hundreds of reps in, practicing the knee and the rhythm of it with this setup step. But let's talk about the mechanics so they can get maximum power and also be defensively sound so you're not eating punches on the way in, okay? Let's talk about the knee strike itself. When I throw the knee strike, I changed the way I've done it over the years. And I gotta say, my biggest inspiration was watching Supergirl and the way that she practices her knee strikes. So she throws what I call a posture breaking knee. She lifts her knee up high up into her chest and then she extends it out by popping the hip forward. And what you'll notice is that the knee almost goes downward, right? Because I lift it up so high that when I extend my hips out, it goes down. And I want to not hit them in the groin, so I need to make sure that my knee comes up nice and high. The number one mistake that I see with knees is they go up this way, which is great for kneeing someone in the head or in the groin, but in a rules fight, we got to make sure that we are actually going to the body if that's where we're intended to go. And in order to do that, I want you to think about coming up and then out or up and even slightly down into the knee. So I come up and out, all right? up and out. Another way to help with my hip pop is to make sure that I'm on the balls of my feet and I stab the ground on that third step. So if we go back to our four count rhythm, one, two, three, on the ball of my foot, almost like I'm trying to front kick the ground with the ball of my foot. I do that and that's really gonna help me get, bang, that pop into the knee. I don't fall forward. I need to make sure that I find my balance so that I can come back, back, Set up step, ball of the foot, bang, pop the knee, hips forward, then come right back. Boom, boom, bang, pop, 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 bang, pop, pop, bang, pop, pop, bang. A lot of that power comes from the arms, the swinging of the arms. We wanna make sure that we have power, but we also wanna make sure that we're defensive when we do it. So I like this position a lot because I bring my arms up overhead and I'm protecting myself from hooks, round shots to the head. Yes, down the center I am still vulnerable, which is why it's important that we set this up with some sort of strike. A punch, a feint, something, right? So I can pump, then go. I can punch, then go. But either way, I want them showing up. I don't want them striking down the center. And even if they do, I wanna make sure that I'm controlling the hand. I'm controlling the head. So this is preventing them from throwing punches because I'm grabbing their wrist. So now I know that their right side is occupied. I'm grabbing their head, so I'm breaking their posture. It's very hard to throw with any significant amount of power if your posture's broken. Now I'm taking a hand away, so all they have now is their left hand. Left hand, I'm protected, because I got my shoulder in front of my face. So this is that Moy Cow style now, right? This is where we're getting on the inside, bang, we're grabbing, controlling, manipulating, and we're defensively sound. Now here comes the offense, bang, big power knee. 
From here, I can push them away, knock them off balance. I can go to the collar tie and start working within the clinch from there, whatever I want. But for this drill, for the sake of getting reps on reps on reps, we wanna make sure that we enter safely. So again, the setup step is crucial. Elbows up high. I'm grabbing the head in hand as I throw the knee, breaking their posture, stopping them from throwing punches on the way in. Now I come back to the next setup. Bang, opposite side. Opposite side. And a quick note for anyone asking, the hand that grabs the head, that's the same side that throws the knee. So I switch to the opposite side, left hand grabs the head, left leg throws the knee. Back, back, switch, right and right, back, back, switch, left and left. One last key detail is when you throw the knee strike, you've probably noticed that I corkscrew the knee. Another way to get a little bit more of a hip hop and a little bit more range when you throw this knee. So it's the same idea how we corkscrew our forearm when we throw our punches. I'm gonna do the same thing, but with my knee. So instead of just coming out like this, I like to flare the heel out towards the side, still keeping that heel close to my butt, but I corkscrew it like this as I throw the knee. So you can see, bang, it comes out a little bit. Out, up, out, back. Up, back, back, up, knee. Back, back, up, out. Get that corkscrew motion. It's gonna help you get a little bit more range. And in this game of inches or millimeters, that's everything. You get a little bit more power and what may just hurt someone to the body may actually crack or fracture that rib. All right, so there you go. Reps on reps, do it, and you can just go down the checklist. Am I defensively sound? Are my hands in the right position? Am I swinging my hand too low? Am I exposed? Am I balanced? Am I falling all over the place? Am I stabbing the ball of my foot into the ground on that setup step? Am I corkscrewing the knee? Am I popping my hip forward? So again, the best way to get good at something is just through repetition. Mastery through repetition. Here's a great drill where you can do just that. If you want more exercises like this, be sure to check out fighttips.com. Get a membership on there and you get access to all of our courses, including our live classes taught by me, 8 a.m. Saturday morning, Eastern time, and I will see you on there. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.